Good evening, everybody. It is once again Ted the Speed Learner, and recently I've been asked a few questions, so I decided to answer them. And the first one is, where did I acquire the Bodoni MT font? Well, it actually came with Microsoft Word. So, if you purchase a copy of Microsoft Word, you will acquire the Bodoni MT font. Otherwise, you could search the internet far and wide and buy a copy of this font. And then you'll have it either way. Okay, so what's the second question? How do you resize a photo so it will look correct when a photo store prints your photo? Well, I'm kind of glad you asked this one as well because this kind of goes along the line of how do we add a border to our photo without having to go to a Photoshop to do it? Okay, well then, if you have a copy of Microsoft Windows XP, Microsoft Windows Vista, Microsoft Windows 7, or Microsoft Windows 8, you have a computer program automatically that can do these kind of things. You say, well, wait a minute, where's that at? Okay, in what Microsoft Windows 8, it's a little harder to find, but with the other three that I just mentioned, the Microsoft XP, the Microsoft 7, the Microsoft Vista. It's not that hard at all. Let me show you. Okay. We're going to go right down here. Bear with me. I know my room's a little junked up. All right. See that start button? We're going to click that. We're going to go to all programs. You see that way down there? All programs. We're going to click that. And then we're going to go to a folder called Accessories. See that one? And now we're going to go down to a computer program called Paint. As soon as we do, voila! I know things are going to be a little funky for just a second, so bear with me on this. And he says, oh, man, we're really tippy here. Okay, well here is Microsoft Paint. All right. Now then, what we're going to do is we're going to open it up here. File, open. We're going to go to my documents folder. We're going to go to the HTML student folder and we're going to find something called Bootsy2.jpg. When we click it and we open it, well, there is a photo of my cat. There you go. There she is. Now, I want you to take a look right down here. The dimensions of this particular photo, and I'm sorry, this is not going very well, is 1800 pixels by 1200 pixels. Why is that important? Because for every inch that you have on your photo, you will have 300 pixels. Every inch, 300 pixels. Okay. That's the measurement. You say, well, how did I come up with that? Well, do you remember a long time ago when I uploaded a video called Pixels versus DPI? Pixels is actually an acronym for, pix uh, for picture element. And I'm sorry my voice cracked, but anyway. Pixels is an acronym for picture element. That's what it is. Okay. Now, DPI is an acronym for dots per inch. That's what that is. Now, you say, well, okay, now that we know all this, how do we make a photo in pixels the correct size so that when we have the print shop print it, then it will come out correctly? Well, here's how you do that. All right. Let's first start with the dimensions of the photo. The dimensions of the photo are 4 by 6. So we're going to take the 4. Hang on a second. And we're going to multiply it by 300. So if you take 4 and you multiply it by 300, you'll get 1,200. Now what about the 6? We're going to multiply the 6 by 300 and when we do we're going to get 1800 so 
if your picture is 1200 pixels by 1800 pixels, it's going to be the correct size. Now you say, well, how do we enter these numbers into paint so it will be that size? Well, here's how you're going to do that. You're going to click way up here. You see this button that says resize? You're going to click that. And as soon as you do, there's going to be a dialog box. I'm going to bring it right down here so you all can see this. Now, you see it says percentage, but it also says pixels. Okay, we're going to click pixels. And then what we do is we type in the numbers. The horizontal in this case is going to be bigger because it's going to be six inches and the vertical is going to be smaller. It's going to be four inches. So we got 1800 by 1200 and that's how you get it. You, you hit OK and then you actually save your photo. As soon as you have the dimensions correct, you save your photo and as soon as you do, then you take it to the print shop and bam, they'll print it for you. Okay. Now then, you say, well, what if I have a 5 by 7? Same type of deal. Okay. We have the 5, and we have the 7. Well, that's going to be 1,500, and that's going to be 2,100. All right, so if you want this to be a 5 by 7, you set it to 1500 by 2100, and it will become a 5 by 7. Now, what if you want it as an 8 by 10? You have an 8. Well, this is going to be 2400 by... by 3,000. So if you want this as an 8 by 10, you have to have 2,400 by 3,000. So what you're doing is you're multiplying the two dimensions of the photo by 300, and that's what you'll get. And if you do that, it will print correctly at the print shop. Ta-da! Now what if you want to add a border to this photo? Well, that's pretty easy also. What you're going to do is they have these shapes up here and you're going to click the rectangle and then you'll just use your cursor now notice how the cursor has actually changed to a plus sign okay like this and what you do is you just add your border okay you can actually change the size of your border like this you can actually click this thing that says size and you can choose the thickness of your border. You can also choose the color of your border. We have red right here. You can choose that as well. So you can choose the color of your border. You can also choose the size of your border. And when you place it on the picture, boom, there it is. And the most important thing is, after you fix this up the way you want it, then you save it, then you take it to the print shop, and they can print it, just like that. Okay, and that solves your problem because some print shops have pretty good software and they can add borders all you like and some of them don't. Okay, and you never really know which one has which unless you go up there or you call them either way. So I would call ahead or flat out uh, go up there and find out if they have a border feature or if they don't have a border feature before you print your picture. And if they don't, well now you do. And that solves your problem. Of course, keep in mind that at a print shop, if they do have a border feature, the borders will be a lot nicer than what you'll find in Microsoft Paint. So you may really want to use their borders instead of your own. Okay, So that's something to keep in mind. Otherwise, you know, just go to Microsoft Paint and you get your border anyway. Now, is there another way to add borders and adjust photo sizes um, for stuff like this? Yes, there actually is another way. And it will be taught in my HTML lessons as I continue them. OK? 
Okay, so as I continue teaching HTML, you're going to learn yet another way to add borders and to resize photos um, and then be able to save them and then take them to your print shop. So there are ways to get around this. This is one way, and I'm going to show you another one in the not too distant future. Okay. Anyway, that's all I've got to say for this evening. I will tell you more in a future video, so I want you to stay tuned.